Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to buy and register a domain name in less than 60 seconds. Let's start the clock. Okay, we're gonna to go to domains.google. This is where we're gonna register our domain name from. I would like something with netwits in the name. So this is gonna be a podcast I'm gonna be making with my friend in the near future. And unfortunately, netwits.com is not available. Google does a pretty good job of showing you suggestions down here, but I want to look at all the different endings possible. I'll show you after we're done here, but there are something like 300 or more different endings. I think I like netwits.io, so I'm going to add that to my cart. You'll see that pop up in my cart in just a second. And up here, let's click on my cart. Uh, it's $60 for one year of registration, privacy protection on, auto renew on. That looks good to me. Let's check out. This is gonna ask me for some of my information, credit cards, all that stuff. We'll click on buy. And when this finishes, we then have our domain name registered in my name and it'll show up in my list of domain names. So we'll wait for that to happen. And the clock's ticking. And I hope we're still under a minute. <laughs> okay, there we go. So I don't know how long that took, but I now have netwits.io registered in my domain name, or in my name. Um, this is in my list of all the other domain names that I own right now. And, you know, there's a lot of different directions that you can go with it. We'll save that for another video. But I just want to talk about um, why I choose Google domains for most of my domain names. Um, you have many different options for different domain name providers. But uh, there, there's basically four reasons that I choose Google domains as one of my uh, primary domain name registrars. And that is because... Um, it has competitive pricing, okay? It's it's not the cheapest, it's not the most expensive, but the prices for Google domains are competitive. So, uh, for example, if we wanna look for a different domain name, let's just look up net, netwits.com again, netwits.com, um, you'll see that these prices range anywhere from, you know, $10 a year. And I think I was in here earlier and they're somewhere upwards of $300 per year. I think I saw 350 somewhere per year. Let's see if we can find that 350. Yeah, so netwits.reality is $350 per year. So um, just depends on what the domain name extension is as far as the price. But in general, for a domain name, somewhere around 10 or $12 is pretty much par for the course. I actually have a whole other video on domain name prices if you want to check that out too. Um, the, the, the other reason that I like to use um, Google domain names is because of the, the sheer number of different possible endings that are available for registration. So on Google domains alone, I, I made a spreadsheet with this. Like we'll go through here. These are all the different domain name endings that you can have with Google domains. So, you know, things that you never even heard of like dot cool, dot dog, okay, dot guru, dot lawyer, and dot pizza. So this keeps going all the way down here. There's 300, at, at the time of this recording, 332 different domain names, including dot WTF. So those are all available for domain name registration right there on Google uh, Dot, uh, Google domains. It's you can either go to domains.google to access the site or uh, Google dot or domains.google.com. Those are the two different ways that you can access the site. Um, another reason I like to use Google domains is because you get to register your register your domain name and use your domain name. Um, uh, as far as the domain name infrastructure is concerned. So if you're not familiar, uh, DNS, have you ever heard of DNS? DNS is domain name service, and it's basically a bunch of servers around the world that map IP addresses to domain names. So domain websites um, are associated with an IP address primarily, uh, and the domain names on top of that are just human readable ways to uh, look at a, a website. So instead of memorizing like 96.45.142.23 to go to a website, we remember to go to google.com or tonyteaches.tech. Those are, those are how the domain name servers work. They just map the domain names to the IP addresses so um, the website request knows where to go in the end. So that's just a long way of saying that Google domains has 
as you would imagine, because it's Google, one of the best DNS infrastructures available. So um, that's the third reason I like Google Domains. And the fourth reason that I like Google Domains is because it comes with uh, email alias um, capabilities. So what do I mean by that? Well, if we go back to my domains, and I, I have a whole video on this, but if we go to netwits.io under the email section, you can create up to 100 email addresses for free that you can check within your Google inbox. So for example, like, like it says up here, you at netwits.io. I can make one Tony at netwits.io. I can make hello at netwits.io. Um, if you wanna learn how to do that, I'll point you to this video here. But otherwise, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you found some value out of it. Subscribe for more like this from me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.